Now we're going to show you how you fix your rotor coolings on your crank arm. Important is that you have the right combination of your big and your small chain ring. We use a 2x10 system, so we only have two chain rings. It's marked on the packaging. Here we use a 4027 setup. So you start with your big ring. Important on your big ring, there are two markings. One with a three hole and one with a two hole. As a beginner, we would recommend you to start with the three hole position. Take this position and put it on the upper end of your crank arm and start to screw on your chain ring with the bolts. until they are firmly tight. Now I only show you one hole because it takes a little time. So what you do is, after you've done all the holes, you take your small chain ring. When you install your small chain ring, make sure you put it under the right position. First of all, you can see the little pinch holes here. Make sure that they face outward. And then make sure also that the four hole position is at the upper part of your crank arm because that's the indication that we use before for the big chain ring. Place it on your arm, take your bolts and just screw them in until they're firmly tight and then you repeat that for the other four holes.